Welcome back to another episode of Just Jossing Around. My guest today, Ali Kareem. Hey, what's up? Thanks for coming on <laughs> and uh, meeting up with a complete stranger. Yeah, thanks uh, <laughs> Thanks for having me. I, I heard about you, you know? Yeah, I heard about you as yeah. well. I feel like we had a lot of mutuals. I started doing stand-up, I think, after you moved away. And yeah. everyone, yeah, everyone talked about you. And then especially when I went to... Um, Casey, you know Aaron Scarborough. So yeah, yeah, I did the the festival. The, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, that's Casey a, festival it was it was a lot of fun. I wish I could have made it down there for that. I yeah. that sounded like a lot of fun. That's yeah, I don't good. really like Scarborough. Yeah, yeah like no, a, that guy kind of actually he smells bad sometimes. And <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, he had a picture of Saddam Hussein. <laughs> Like what the fuck is this? It's yeah, I I don't like it a lot either. Yeah, terrible artist. Um, don't support facts. Yeah, don't yeah. go to the Rhino. <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> well, actually, do because I I like Tricky. I like Ryan Tricky. Oh, so. I haven't. You know seen what? Him. I'll take it back. All right. All right. Aaron Aaron is cool. He's passable. I think we're gonna have Aaron on uh, when he comes down to headline in December, and that's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of him probably referencing things that I don't understand. I feel. <laughs> yeah, he had a lot of conversations with me, and I was like, "All right, man." Yeah, you like, <laughs> just cool. not along. <laughs> just not along. No, he's uh, funny. I like um, he when we were down there last weekend. He started working on this piece. I'm sure you've seen it. He's been posting it like everywhere online. But it's like the medieval like 9/11. Oh no, I have. Oh, it's I, so funny. <laughs> it's really funny. It's like um, two castle towers and a dragon. It looks. It's, oh, I think I've seen yeah. that. I didn't. I didn't put the two together. You're like this yeah. guy. Just I mean, nine eleven didn't affect my life at all. So um, me either. Yeah. How old are you? I'm thirty four. Thirty four. Okay. Yeah. How old do you think I am? Twenty two. There it is. You nailed it on the dot. That's crazy. Do I just give off twenty two year old energy? Uh, I don't know. Okay, me either. <laughs> all right. Sorry. I don't know. I don't know. But I was. I think I was like a month, two months, maybe old when it happened. So yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Let, let's not go down that road. No, yeah, yeah no, yeah, no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you don't want to. <laughs> I'll tell you about it. After. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's fine. Does your, uh, I guess, getting political? Does your family like? Do you guys on holidays? Do you guys bring up politics or do you tuck it away? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know anything about me, do you? No, I guess I don't. <laughs> I met you in the parking lot and I brought you into a dark building to record a podcast. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm from Iraq. Okay. Uh, born and raised. So I moved oh, here wow. 10 years ago. And uh, I started comedy here. Mm -hmm. So 9-11 changed my life. Because of 9-11, I'm here. Huh. If it wasn't for 9-11 and the war, I wouldn't be here. The war on Iraq. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, so, so, wow. Yeah, after 9-11 happened, I think Americans were like, we're going to war, uh, Iraq. Yeah. You know? Well. And, uh, yeah, here I am. Here you are doing comedy. What yeah. made you want to do comedy? Was that kind of something you always wanted? Or did you, like, fall into it? So, you know Jason Regan? Yes, yeah. Okay. So, Jason was an electrician at Google where I worked. Uh-huh. And I told him a story. It was a story about a squirrel. And he was like, man, you're funny. He's like, you should do stand-up comedy. Yeah. And he kept bothering me about it. So, like, really? I invited all my friends and um, it was Barley Street. You missed out on Barley Street. No, Barley Street I hear about best. Barley Street, but yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I went and I brought all my friends and uh, I did, like, a mic drop, too, which haunted <laughs> me for... You I, dropped the mic after your first well, time? Well, I dropped it on a stool. But yeah. I think Dusty Stell? Yeah. Yeah. He was the host and he was like, Oh, he did a mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> you must have had so, a, a banger for a set. <laughs> it, it was all my friends, so they were all, you know. Supportive. Do you remember yeah. what you talked about for your first time? I think I talked it was like Trump just got in power. Uh huh. And I talked about how my my ex at the time, she was like freaking out. And I'm like, You're white, what do you gotta worry about? Like I'm <laughs> I'm the one that should be worried. Yeah. Um, but no, it was it was like a funny. I guess it was. I I didn't. I don't. Yeah. I don't remember. Wait, that well set. enough for you to want to keep doing it. Yeah, I think I got a good reaction. Then after that, the next time I did it, I bombed, and I, like, everybody hated me too. That's like they were all friends with me. This is how 
like the comedy scene is they were all friends with me on Facebook. Yeah. But when I come, nobody talks to me. And I'm like, <laughs> what the, what kind of bullshit is this? What is it? So it was like a whole new thing. And I think mm-hmm. it kind of, and they used to always put me last. Really? Yeah. So that kind of pushed me to like be better. Yeah. 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 I so, do sense that. Like if you're not performing at a certain level, everyone will just ice you out. Yeah. 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 That's so. It was a uh, Tyler Walsh. Mm-hmm. He well, at first it was Dusty, then Tyler used to host. But you know, I, I think Greg loved me, the, the bar owner. So yeah, yeah it was a uh, you know, it was it was a cool experience. I think I was like, you know, in and out, in and out, and then I did the Clash of Comics, mm-hmm. and you know, like me and Keonis started about the same time. Yeah, I think, or he was probably earlier than me. Then I lost. And I saw Keonis, you know, in front of a crowd and he crushed. Like, I haven't done shows. I've only done open mics. And that was the first, like, time I really performed at, like, a main stage. And I lost and I was so upset. Mm -hmm. So I went back and I wrote all my, like, that's the first time, like, I wrote my set and I organized it. And I crushed so hard that everybody was congratulating me before they even announced it. That's, so I won it the that's second the best time. Feeling. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah, to go back and win it. What um, do you remember who your guest spot was for when you came back? It was uh, uh, James, uh, Johan. Oh yeah, uh, we're just talking about him with Aaron and Maddie this weekend because he had gone through KC with uh, someone else. I can't remember their name. Yeah, uh, yeah. It, but at first I was supposed to open for like. Raging Cajun or something. <laughs> and I invited everybody. I yeah. invited like 50 people to my Funny show. I don't love that. <laughs> and I got bumped by Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's so like, Nebraska. Like it was, I was so upset. And I remember like I, I made a post about it and I was like, man, I can't believe, you know, and uh, at the time it was uh, Carlos Tibbs, uh, rest in peace. I, I don't mm-hmm. know if you heard about Carlos, but... Um, he was he reached out to me and he's like man you just you just keep doing what you're doing Mm -hmm. you know don't be negative you know just people people recognize you when the time is right and that's i went in i edited the post and i was like uh you know yeah (laughs) i'm just happy to be here (laughs) Uh, that's funny i mean uh, that's probably the smart move i feel like a lot of people in like a fit of rage will put something on facebook and they're like that's it well you know i was also like new and Mm-hmm. had no idea like what comedy is and it's good to have like the you know the ogs to kind of like teach you Help like guide you yeah yeah for mm-hmm. sure did you yeah. have uh favorite spots to do while you were in omaha besides barley street of course uh i mean the back line for sure yeah the, the back, back line, line is a staple um, um was dubliner going the on dubliner okay I, the dubliner started when i first really yeah when i first got here uh or when i when it i was here when it first started uh, Dubliner was cool. Uh, I like I like people that support like the the bar owners and everything. Yeah. Like they support comedy. So when yeah. somebody's being a dick, they're like, "All right, you got to go. You got to get the Which, fuck out of here." A new venue that started like three months ago at the Sydney. Um, that's how we felt. Like the the bartender really just wanted live comedy there, and like I mean, he pays like the the hosts like out of his own tips to keep comedy going. Yeah, there. I I headlined the first show. At the at the Sydney. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. We, oh, cool. We were, uh, okay. It was me, um, Aaron Wentz, and uh, Joel Vrennan. Was this uh, like a couple years ago? Or no, it was like earlier this year. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, Dan. Yeah. Dan. Did... Dan like booked. Dan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it was the uh, what was it? Uh, something bits, nasty bits. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. No, Dan is so supportive of like he just got a show booked. I think down at um. The, the re, not the reverb. Is it the slowdown? One of those like venues down there in in Benson. But yeah, he's just a big comedy fan and just supports it. Yeah, I thought he hated me for the longest time. So I was like, <laughs> "Fuck this motherfucker!" But last time he was he was nice. I mean, if he's if yeah. he's having you back, you headline. Is that what you said? Yeah. 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 If he's having you back, then you're not on the hate list. Yeah. <laughs> there was a there was I think like two weeks ago. Um, a comic that he had to like kick out that almost like fought him. It was so dramatic. So there's definitely a, a list of people he doesn't like, but was it Ethan? No, <laughs> no. Ethan's a sweet boy who would never fight. 
Uh, oh my gosh, I told Ethan we were uh, having you on today, and he was very excited. And he was like, "You need to ask him about his circumcision or something like that." Uh, I don't know if that strikes <laughs> a chord with you, but I literally I put it in my notes. All I put was just circumcision. I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, I got circumcised at 13." <laughs> Um, uh, hopefully you were uh, sedated. No, 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 I was held down. No. Yeah. That sounds so, actually traumatic. I'm very sorry. Uh, no, it was, it may, uh, it's a great joke that I have out of it. So I'm not, I'm not mad about it, but, um, you know, my family are, are Muslims. And I think when I was born, they're like, he's, you know, just come back in a couple of weeks or whatever. Yeah. And they forgot. No. <laughs> and when I was 13, I was taking a piss like in the street and my uncle saw me and I remember him like screaming at my mom. I had no idea, you uh-huh. know, I thought I was just a, a normal boy. <laughs> and then my mom, she's like, we're going to, we're going to need, you know, can, we're going to take you to the clinic and, and everything. So as soon as I walked in, like I got this like butterflies in my stomach, like yeah. I got this fear and I'm like, something is wrong. And, and like uh, my brother, like, like his grip got stronger and then a bunch of nurses like grabbed me and they laid me down on a stretcher and I was like screaming for help. I'm like, what the fuck? And my brother, he's like, they're going to cut your dick off. No. <laughs> and I watched it. I remember even the pain. Oh, yeah. the, <laughs> it was like they, they grabbed it like that and they like, you know, pliers and this was in Iraq. So they just, yeah. they just grinded it out. That. That's, that's <laughs> they so did it they didn't do that it was it was sanitary but but, but still do you but know? i i watched like i was like held down and i'm like please oh my god no man come on <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> and um, the funny thing like when um like we got in the car my brother was carrying me and everybody thought like i just converted to islam because you can't be a muslim without oh you know, yeah and your head chopped off. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Literally. Yeah. <laughs> and people were like, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. <laughs> so yeah, oh it was, uh, yeah, I was getting boners too. It was, it was pretty bad. <laughs> I was bleeding. I, I was playing soccer and I got hit. And, yeah. That's uh, so painful. Yeah. That's I, traumatic. I got a, I got a fucked up dick. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like, I mean, it shows like strength to your character that you can joke about it. I would like, <laughs> I would never trust my parents again, bro. I would never. <laughs> no, they had to do what they had to do, yeah. you know? Yeah. That's so traumatic though. But. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I lived in Iraq. I, I've seen. You've seen. Yeah. That's, my circumcision was just a, a tap on the, on the back. That's crazy. Yeah. So yeah. Coming to Omaha, it's, it's light work. Nothing life's on easy mode down here yeah yeah i was like what the fuck is this place this is yeah. <laughs> where is the city where is the buildings it was yeah it was weird that's yeah. so is there a reason why you guys came specifically to omaha so i came to omaha because my sister lives here okay yeah and she she was she born here or no, no her she, husband is from here oh okay yeah. okay military maybe yeah okay makes yeah. sense that's yeah. my my dad's military so that's why we're here too nice but that's cool. What made you want to go move out to Denver? Just bigger scene. Comedy. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, funny story. Speaking of Tyler Walsh. Yeah. Uh, so, I was like deciding where to move. And I was between Austin and Texas. And I remember I, at the time I talked to Zach Peterson. And yeah. I talked to a bunch of people. And they were like, yeah, you should. Like, Austin is cool. But Denver, yeah. you know, there it's like a the scene is uh, there's like four scenes within an hour you have mm-hmm. Colorado Springs Boulder and Fort Collins yeah you know, just a, like a 30 minute to an hour drive um, and they're like you know you get to work with Sam I didn't even know who Sam Talent was at the time yeah um, they're like you get to see all these big comedians and yeah I, I went there and uh, I was supposed to move with Tyler but we're really? both supposed to move interesting with, and then he met Megan and he- He's like, I'm, I'm staying. Yeah, and he <laughs> fucked me. He's like, I'm not going. We're supposed to get a place together and everything. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, all right, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. I met yeah. Megan at, like after uh, she, she hit me up or Dylan hit me up and he's like, yeah, I got a comic. And he's like, do you want a video? I was like, well, if you vouch for her, then 
she's yeah. probably funny. So I'm, I'm like, all right. So I got her um, like a couple spots. I, I got her a few paid spots. Yeah. Yeah. So no, it was, it was uh, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. She bombed <laughs> in Boulder. They didn't like her. They didn't like her in You're Boulder. You're so honest. I love it. Okay. Um. They didn't like her in Boulder. And, and she remembers this. You can ask her. Out. <laughs> Is there like a specific... Did this happen? Re- when did this happen? Uh, <laughs> like... Uh, I don't know, like last winter maybe. Yeah. Or yeah, she she came like earlier this year, I think. <laughs> and she was talking. I, I made a joke. I had like a brand new joke about nine eleven, and it was so much. Yeah. It was so much fun, and I went up and I told the joke, and I brought her because I was hosting the show, and she was like, "Oh, I've never seen a nine eleven joke that bomb." And for fifteen minutes, they did not give her a single laugh. No. Yeah, Boulder is like that. Really? Yeah. If you they, if you take one wrong step, that's yeah. Like, they're like, you know what? We don't want any of this. Wow. Even and if you have a good joke, they just decide. <laughs> especially if it's a white comic. That, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah so, that's so. That's interesting uh, for color. I always. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, Boulder is definitely like on. They're like, hey, like we don't want any. We don't want any trouble. You know. They're, We're like one of the happiest places to live on the, in the United States. And, <laughs> Yeah. They don't want any drama. Yeah, they don't want any drama. That's and so um funny. yeah, so she Yeah. <laughs> she did she bombed. Oh no. Sorry. Oh no, it's fine. So <laughs> I'm sure she can laugh about it now. Oh That's yeah. It's funny. <laughs> yeah. Well we'll see how we'll see how tonight goes. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no. She's on the show tonight, so Yeah. I'm yeah. so excited. Uh when did you start uh producing Kareem in your face? Because that's kinda that's like your show you've been doing for a couple years. Oh, more than that. Yeah. Uh, it's been like 2019, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I started uh, at the back line and I um, then like I, you know, y- you live here, you know. Yeah. So it's like there's only so much to do with comedy. Yep. So it was me, Brooke and somebody else. I, I don't think Jordan James or whatever. They, we don't do I don't think he does comedy anymore. Hmm. Um, but we went to Des Moines and then went to Chicago. Oh, nice. We and just, we just did, hit the mics. Yeah. Yeah. And I did, uh, I did the Teehee's mic. Yep. And then it was Sid at the time. Yeah. Who was uh, owning it? Yeah. So, um, he like came up and talked to me and then I ended up doing Kareem in your face at Teehee's. Yeah. And it, that was that was fun because Des Moines loves comedy. Des Moines they is like do. they really like you don't expect it. You know, you think it's going to be mm-hmm. like, you know, conservative crowd. But they're they really are not. They're very supportive of comedy. I, I, yeah. I love the Des Moines scene. Yeah, especially been there in a long time. I yeah. feel like the the laughs are always like they want to see comedy. They're there for it. Yeah. And we, we started like I started Des Moines after covid i think it was before i think it was before it did a few shows every show sold out that's awesome uh yeah so i tried to like take omaha comics to des moines and bring des moines comics to omaha Mm -hmm. so did that for a while and then i just i had to cancel it because i was moving yeah to denver but it seems like you started it up in denver right i did but i just i'm so busy yeah so i like the venue that I had, it. I'm, I'm thinking about starting again. I just need to find a new venue. but And, and do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know. I was going to ask you, like, what's like the coolest venue that you've been able to take the show to? Would you uh, say Teehees? Or- oh, yeah. Teehees in the back line for sure. Yeah. People, people show support when, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, Teehees definitely in the back line. Um, but beside that, I haven't, like, taken it anywhere else beside Denver. And Denver, I don't know if you've been to... Colorado yet? Or uh, I actually went to go visit um, Jake Parker out there. Oh, yeah. Not too long ago, but I, I know he's not like super, I don't want to say super active in the scene, but he. Oh, no one knows Jake. No. <laughs> no one knew him. No, this is no good. one knew him over here. <laughs> and yeah, I was surprised when he moved there. He sucks. <laughs> and he had five minutes, and that's it. And I love it. <laughs> he's still bombing. <laughs> I think he's. Is, I think he's validating. more interesting. Yeah, he's more interested in like 
hiking. Yeah. He's he's a nature outdoor <laughs> fitness kind of guy. That's so funny uh, and honestly extremely validating because we um the first time I did, I did clash, he was on the one with me and afterwards he won and Zach Peterson pulled me aside and goes, "You lost by one point." And I don't know why losing by one point to why, Jake Parker. Why do they even say that? That's what I'm I saying. hate that shit. It really really bothered me. <laughs> And the, and he uh, he would not let it go. That's his only like claim to fame was winning that damn class. Yeah, I mean, I try to I try to get him to like you know to come. Yeah, and like and it seems but like, he's just not consistent with yeah. with the mics. Like he he comes out. I think deep down he wants he still wants to do yeah. comedy, but he's just not committed. As yeah, and it sounded like people. when I went out there, I was like asking him like what my. It seems like you can hit up, you can get in a lot of stage time at like. During the week, yeah, at open mics. yeah. So, I mean, when I lived here, it was you have Monday, mm-hmm. and you have to like drive to Lincoln. Yeah, for uh, Duffy's. For Duffy's, I love Duffy's. I love Duffy's too. And uh, you come back, and then you do um, the Dubliner. Mm-hmm. That's and so interesting because I feel like it's the reverse. Everyone comes down to do Dubliner and then leaves to go do Duffy's. Cause I was I was like doing 10. it before the Dubliner, so we used to go a drive. We used to carpool with uh-huh. some people, and then uh, we go to the. I think it was there was like two mics there mm-hmm. at the time. It was like a, the club. I forgot the name of the club. Then it got shut down. Hmm. Um, was Comedy Loft a thing? Comedy yeah. Loft, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. And I remember I did the Comedy Loft one time, and it was. Uh, uh, Mark Sibbett was the headliner. It was his first mm-hmm. headlining set, I think, at that club. And then um, I was hosting. And then James Lindsay was yeah. was the feature. I love James. And James hated that fucking place. Really? Why? Yeah. So he did his set. And afterwards, he was like, this place does not support comedy. This pla-. He fucking went off. And then he walked off stage. <laughs> During his set, he's crazy. Dude. Was there a specific thing that happened that made I him think, like... I think the guy was an asshole to like to, local comics and... Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because it always... I mean, I, I never got to go to Comedy Loft, but I always hear it sound like it was a pop in place that was like getting people regularly Yeah, it was like a regular, you know, club, club? that, you know... Yeah. But uh, I don't know, like uh, any club that doesn't support comics, yeah. you know, it's just... Anyway. Club owners are so dicey. I feel like they could either you. I feel like you have the ones that like never made it and or like never were successful in comedy, and it's like you can tell in the way that they run the club. And yeah, yeah, yeah. he was definitely one of those guys. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yeah. So it was that. Mm-hmm. Then Tuesday, I can't remember what was on Tuesday. It was like, I think it was the back line before they switched it to Wednesday. Oh, Wednesdays. really? Yeah, and then Wednesdays was because it was Barley Street, and everybody goes to oh. Barley Street. So it was Tuesday, then Barley, and then on Thursdays, uh, it was the I don't know Beach House. Beach street. House, which is now I think oh yeah Beach yeah. House now it was I think it was Wired Pub, but yeah Beach House so, is still going on. So that was that was a spot, and that place sucked. Yeah, I mean no offense, <laughs> but you know no I mean all of I'm sure I'm sure they you know Caleb did a good job now and. And everything to, uh, yeah. I, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's it's still uh, it's chaotic because you just go there and you can just walk up on stage and yeah, there's no list. Which I don't know, maybe that works for some people, but and there was a one in Ralston. What's his name? Uh, the old guy. Hmm. And his wife. What was what the fuck is the name? I've, I've been I've been out of the Omaha scene yeah. for a long time. <laughs> uh, I don't know if he still does comedy. What was his I'm name? Trying to think of just old people in the scene. Gray hair, short. Huh. Uh, I feel like it, it'll come back to me. Okay, but Ma- yeah, he ran a show in Ralston or like a a, a mic on Saturdays, and if oh. you win, they give you like a pound of meat or something. That's. <laughs> yeah. You said if you win. Yeah, if you win the mic or That's whatever. That's so funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> a pound of meat is crazy. Yeah. A pound of bacon. I'd go. I ho- I hope they bring that back. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was it. So when I moved to Denver, uh, you can do, if you if you really do it, you can go to Fort Collins, mm-hmm. do a spot. Because if you go to Fort Collins, like the Comedy Fort, they give you, if you're from Denver, they let you go up early. Oh, really? You go back, you do Irish Rover, 
and then you do um, uh, lines layer. Okay. So three mics in a day, some like every day, I would say. So mm-hmm. on Mondays, if I go to Fort Collins, then I'm hitting three mics. But on Tuesdays, I, I don't do any comedy. So unless I'm on like uh, unless Which, I'm at Comedy Works. Yeah. Yeah. Do you or, are you there pretty regularly, like uh, hosting or? No. So like I'm still in the program, it, but but I I perform at Comedy Works maybe once every. Two to three months. That's that's still yeah. That's great though. Do they um, do a kind of like a system how like the Funny Bone does, where you can come and do like a local showcase or something to get you like in? So there's a it's a it's called the NTN New Talent Night, uh, and what they do you at first you sign up, and I think every twelve weeks you get to go up. Hmm. If you're a B set, so you start with two minutes and mm-hmm. that you do that one time and then you get a C set and a C set at three minutes and you do that until you get promoted to a B set. Got it. And then when they do the promotion, I think they do it once a year, you go to a set and that's like the almost pro yeah, or almost famous. And then after that, you, when you get it, then you, then you do like regular shows. They okay. will, you know, have you like host or, feature or whatever but it's just and until you're become a pro and that's when you get the you know Hmm. paid spots (laughs) that's nice that's awesome (laughs) at least Uh, there's like a system but yeah they they want like they want you to be you know in their um what's the word like like they want you to to be like they don't care what you do outside of their club but for Mm -hmm. their club they're like this is what we like yep and this is what you got to do. So you, as far yeah. as like content or just like doing the the, I guess program. But you know, like you have to get like, like uh, you know, like your set has to be tight. So you got to yeah. get a laugh every ten seconds. Yeah, that's what they. Dang, want. really? Yeah. That's yeah. That is pretty tight. So that like, made me so much better because yeah. like, I've got I did a like a four minute set, and I got twenty two laughs and i averaged a laugh every 10 seconds so i was very proud of it that's great yeah. that's uh, awesome that you and, and they that. don't yeah. like count like you know like ha 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 like they count like real laughs mm-hmm. so is someone back there like tracking it for yep they, there's so like three people and it's a it's a big deal like, yeah yeah if you ever if you ever come to um colorado let me know yeah i yeah. will i will i definitely i met um I met Morgan Gallo uh, in KC. Yeah, yeah, Morgan's cool. Morgan's cool, yeah. And so she was kind of telling me about like spots and stuff and Denver places to go to. But yeah. I just did you tell her you know me? Yeah, I did. I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I haven't like met him, but I was like, he's a, a mutual friend that like is seems to be doing pretty well out there. And so yeah, yeah, yeah she's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, she's awesome. I think she's on tour right now. She she is for yeah. uh, uh, Morgan J. Who's that? Like, have you seen his stuff? Yeah, yeah, the, the, the singing. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, I think he's an LA. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's it's funny which i didn't realize when she was in kc um i didn't realize that was the guy but she was doing like just kind of like these alt shows on the side while she was um doing the main shows with him but yeah i didn't realize that was the guy she was on tour with until i was like oh that's that's cool because i uh, yeah i'd been seeing his clips online but uh yeah i'm trying to meet more people from Denver I like I'm also like kind of in that phase where I I like I love Omaha I feel like it's I can get stage time and obviously the podcast is here but it's like going out into new cities Denver's definitely on my 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 list of yeah places I'm sure you'll comedy. do better than the Jake Parker De- <laughs> financially I don't know if I'll do better than Jake Parker <laughs> that, yeah, did you yeah. see that guy's apartment no god damn it he's right across from the Rocky Stadium it pisses me off. <laughs> oh, does he live at the Durango? Um, uh, it's market Durango market. I think so. There's oh, like, my buddy lives there. It's it's like I mean you can walk. He's right by like the train station. Like, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. He's I, right I know there. exactly where he's at. Yeah, yeah. I I lived there for like three months. Really? When I first moved there, yeah. I was, yeah. I didn't have a place because Tyler Walsh fucked me, <laughs> so I slept on my buddy's ground for like three months before no way. I found a spot. Yeah. Yeah. God damn it, Tyler. Yeah. Well, at least you guys are. But you know, it's it's worth it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I uh yeah. There's always. I think it would. I would. I would have a more peace of mind moving with a comic, 
um, just because it's like, I mean, financially it would be better than trying to. Do I would that. never live with a comic. No, no, no. no I, you were I, going I, to. I know, but I know Tyler. Yeah. Yeah, I can't live with Jake. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Uh, you would, uh, yeah. You would find out that uh-huh. Jake actually probably has a slight degree of Aspergers. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I really do oh, think I, he I don't, to- I don't. I don't doubt it. Yeah. I used to. I used to fuck with him when he first started. Yeah. Because he would just go up, and I'm like, man, that's that's terrible. That's, <laughs> like, are you sure you want to do comedy? <laughs> but uh, just like the like the white man confidence <laughs> to just keep doing it and being like, it's gonna get me somewhere. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> we'll see how long that lasts. Oh my god, I'm so dead. That's funny. That's funny. And it's validating, again, once again, to hear. I'm still very bitter from a clash. But, yeah, I don't know. I think Denver is more of a palatable place to move for comedy versus, like, New York. I, I just don't think I would ever... I know that there's comics from Omaha that have done the move, like Zach Bravietti. So, Zach, when he first started, mm-hmm. he was, like, he was such a terrible comic. <laughs> Yeah. He was so bad. Yeah. Have you met Zach? I don't think. Uh, we did a show together when he was back in town. Yeah. So his name is Zach Miller. Mm, mm-hmm. And then I he switched this. it to Zach Bravietti. And it took me forever to fucking learn Bravietti. And I'm like, what? why Where don't you just go from? for Miller? And yeah. he's like, there's already a Zach Miller. And I don't want to, you know. And. What I used to do, I used to run, like, I used to do a, a workshop in my apartment, and then I have them, like, him, uh, I, David Terrell Green. Yeah. When he used to do comedy. I don't know if he still He still does, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, he I does. got him on. Uh, he was he was just in Omaha, or he was just in Denver. Oh, 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 that's yeah, funny, yeah. 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 No, yeah. I, re- I saw pictures from that. That's um, funny. But, yeah, we used to do, um, like, a workshop. And Zach was so bad. It's just his joke is like, I was like, what, why, you know, it was, it was very like satisfying to me because they would do their sets and I would just shit on them. I think Ethan That was Ambrose the workshop? Is, yeah. And I'm like, you're, you're terrible. I, I tried to listen to you and I was like, I couldn't even focus because you were so bad. You have no presence. You have <laughs> nothing. I love that. And I think that kind of pushed him to be. Yeah. Um, and. You know, I I don't want to say, but, you know, I'm pretty much his dad. So he, yeah. He looks, He yeah. messaged me every now and then. He's like, love you, dad. Oh, that's really <laughs> sweet. But I will say that was a, because I, I had told a couple people, I was like, yeah, I'm going to have Ollie on. But, like, I've never met him. I'm not really sure. I, like, I, I hope it goes well. And the the first thing people would say was, yeah, he's just a really blunt guy. <laughs> he's just yeah. really. And so hearing that, your story, yeah. That, that makes um, sense. But I think that is valuable and that needs to be brought back. I think more people need to be told that their jokes suck and that they need to be worked on. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan of comedy. I love, yeah. I love comedy. And, like, people just trying to be edgy, especially, yep. like, him and Caleb. And, and they just go, like, too far. It's like, just be funny. Yes. You don't have to be, you know. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, Justin Healy. Oh, my oh, God. Yeah, I, <laughs> I was like, dude, you fucking suck. <laughs> like, I can't believe you want to clash. But when he won a clash, I gave him a spot. Yeah. Uh, he was did. very happy, yeah. Because oh. I think at the time I had, like, the popular show. Yeah. Yeah. And so uh, it meant something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which well. still is the popular show. Like, I think when people see, like, oh, Ollie, or Kareem in your face coming back, that's, like, exciting. Yeah. 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 No, I I love Omaha. And, like, hopefully the show will sell out tonight. I, I think it's oh, going yeah. to. I got, a, I got a lot of people coming. Yeah, I... I uh, invited friends too i'm very Hell excited yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun show yeah. um but yeah zach you know i i respect him because he went from like you know just like a guy that really didn't give a give a shit about like what he says and then he like really worked on his comedy i mean he took the big move and he went to yeah. new york and threw said, himself in and so did uh yeah. did you ever meet john snyder i did okay yeah. <laughs> Love that guy. Okay. All right. <laughs> what a fucking piece of shit. Yeah. No, absolutely. This is <laughs> your, your takes are doing well. These are good takes. Yeah. I mean, uh, the comedians that I really like enjoyed and I think they were like, they had a, like they had a good, 
like from what when I you know when they first started Ethan Ethan Amberson yeah um which Ben Weber oh yeah Ben uh, Weber Ben uh, Putts Ben Putts yep yeah I don't I don't think about you Ben <laughs> you, you really you don't is, um, you don't matter <laughs> that's great yeah. um yeah. But I hope you're still doing comedy or still doing something he uh. Putz or Weber? Putz. Okay. And Weber. Yeah. I love Weber. Weber's we- Weber a golden like, retriever. Yeah, he's he's the best. Is he still seeing uh Charka? Yeah. Yeah, they're married. What? Yes. Oh damn. Yep, locked I in. I had no idea. And same with Ethan and Jenna. I don't know if he was okay, seeing yeah, Jenna yeah. at the time that you guys, but they're married now too. Yeah. But. I I think the the uh they drove us or Jenna drove us down to when I had a show in Des Moines. Uh-huh. And it was okay. So, funny story. I did cream in your face at Teehees, and it was me, Caleb, and his girlfriend. Mm-hmm. And his girlfriend had like she didn't want to come to the show, so it was just me and Caleb. And we did the show. And when I go to Teehees, they give me free drinks, so I was wasted. Yeah. So on the way back, we had a show the next day in Sioux City, Iowa. So I don't know for some reason he got a, a airbnb in the middle of fucking nowhere <laughs> even or Ca- caleb caleb yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> so we uh, we're driving back i'm passed out in the front seat i had my seatbelt in on and everything and i wake up to caleb screaming fuck and i opened my eyes and it was headlights a guy hit us head on and i ended up in the er but like we f- the car flipped. Stop. I swear. The fir- the, the, it was a drunk driver. He hit the first car. Like. Wow. Side swipe it. The first guy. Like was fighting for his life. Like, really? We, we heard about it later. And then. I. Like. I couldn't. I couldn't breathe. And I was like. I was in a lot of pain. Wow. Yeah. And. Um, That's so terrifying. Oh my gosh. Yeah. But yeah. And like. We ended up in the hospital. And. I was, I had a concussion at the time. Like yeah. I woke up to that. So like, I think because I was drunk, I didn't get hurt as, as much, but yeah. I, I think because I was sleeping, I like hit the windshield. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. And the next day we did a show and, uh, like I, I got out of the hospital and we drove, uh, yeah, I think his dad came and picked us up or something Yeah, and it drove us. We did the show. That's that's insane. To and say. I I got off stage <laughs> and I think it was uh, uh, Xavier Jones. Okay. Yeah, he came up and he's like, "Man, you guys performed like you got hit by a truck." I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> we did." <laughs> like that's exactly. Yeah. So wow. that's the most that's the most <laughs> I've ever paid a comic <laughs> because he settled for a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. So that's... I paid him. No one can ever pay him that much <laughs> for that show. That's uh, crazy. Oh my God. That's so yeah, terrifying. It was like a month after and I was still having like flashbacks from that accident. Yeah. And I was like passed out in the back seat, And I think uh, Jenna, Jenna and uh, Ethan were up front. And I was like, I was just like having a nightmare while I was sleeping. I was like, mm. I thought I was like screaming. Yeah. And I woke up and Ethan, he was like, he's like, yeah, dude. He was like, are you okay? He's like, you were making sounds like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> He's making fun of you. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> uh, like this really traumatic thing happened to me. <laughs> so, yeah. Damn. That's crazy. That's, uh, yeah. I mean, it was you, Caleb and Mia in the car? No. Mia stayed at the house. Oh. We were driving back to the Airbnb. Thank God. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, it would have been, it would have been bad. Yeah. yeah. No, that's crazy. Oh my gosh. I've fucking, yeah. I've, Thankfully, never been in anything that intense. Yeah, I'm accident prone, so I, I get hurt all the time. That was that was that was yeah. nothing. Now you're yeah, it was <laughs> it was fun. That's great. Uh, well, I'm I'm glad that you're recovered. Thank you. Not, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't remember what we were talking about though beforehand. We we're talking shit about comics. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that uh, they I can suck. talk shit about comics. comics all day. All day. Yeah. No, I I genuinely like circling back to the workshop though. I know Zach Peterson. He did um, 
he did a workshop, but he's he's nice. So he's helpful and he gives tags and like is like whatever. But sometimes there's times where someone will get up there and you just want to be like, why? Like, no, like, <laughs> don't. That doesn't work. Yeah, I'm, I'm very honest about my, you know, my feedback mm-hmm. uh, because, it, you know, you want to be a comedian. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Are, uh, what's like some of like the, since you've moved to Denver, like the bigger opportunities that have been, you gotten to. Oh man. I you for anyone. Uh, I think in Denver, Denver is such a supportive scene. And yeah. if you're funny and yeah. you like a good person, like everybody would, would support you. That's awesome. You get on every, the sh- like all the shows, everybody start talking about you. Um, I love, I love the Denver scene and that's one of the, th- mm-hmm. like, that's one of the things that's going to bite me in the ass because it's going to be so hard to leave. Yeah. Do you Denver. have plans of leaving Denver? In the future, yeah. But yeah. I still have a lot to like do. Uh, yeah, because like uh, that's it brings me back to the to the open mic point. Like when I ha- I have a joke here when I lived in Omaha, it takes me so long to workshop it because mm-hmm. I can only go to one or two mics. Yep. Or like three mics a week that are good, and you actually have people there. Yeah. And Denver is so different. Every mic you go to, there's people that are there for open mic comedy. Yeah. So uh, I have like a, a few people like uh, Irish Rover, for example. They come to see me work on stuff and it kind of like pushes me to do that's, new material. That's great. Um, but yeah, it helped me like shape my, my set and getting like that stage mm-hmm. uh, time helped me so much to like be... You like understand what jokes and how to like shape a joke, how to workshop it, do it, you know. And and people were like, "There's so many funny comedians." I mean, just I can't even name. There's so many good yeah. comics in Denver. Like, I think even when you go to festivals, just pay attention to the Denver comics and see how hard they mm-hmm. they fucking crush. Well, there was a during for the Omaha Comedy Festival named uh, Emma Perkins. I know Emma. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, she we're... came and she. She crushed. She was yeah. so funny. Emma's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, Darius Dinkins was okay. here for the fest. And, oh, yeah. Uh, Emil. Uh, yeah, kind of, I remember Emil as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Darius is moving to New York, I think, at the like in December. Yeah. yeah Emil's still there. Emma's, but yeah, it's yeah. just it's just different. So that kind of helped me to like become a better comic. Yeah. How long say. do you think it took you to get like to... Do you feel like you've met everyone that's like working actively or are you constantly just meeting new people in the Denver scene? Well, see, I, I like I do shows, but at the same time, I'm very active in the like the, the open mic scene. Yeah. So I go to like all the open mics. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. I what was, was just, the question? I was just asking you, like, do you feel like you've met, like, all, most oh, yeah, of the working yeah. comics from yeah. Denver? Yeah, or, yeah, 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 for sure. I, like, I, I featured for Sam. Really? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. It was, oh. in, it was in Greeley, but it wasn't, mm-hmm. you know. Greenlee's cool. There's a yeah. brewery out there I like, Weldworks, but yeah. it's very cool. So, um, I mean, you get to meet everybody. And everybody there, like, even, like, the comics that are doing it. I mm-hmm. mean, uh Derek Stroop was just like yeah, on the late on, night. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, we had like a watch, watch he, party. Is he from Denver? No, he's from Alabama, but he oh, but sick. he's a Denver comic. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, I mean, so many people that are like mm-hmm. David Borey, like these are like big names, like yeah. Hippie Man, uh, obviously Sam Talent, yeah. um, uh, Adam Caton Holland, uh, Ben Roy, yep. like there's so many good comics. Uh, I mean, and, Matt Kobos. I don't know. I think Matt Kobos and Patrick Richardson came and did like the zoo bar. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, it, very recently, huh? Yeah. 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 I remember that show. I, did, I wasn't able to go, but zoo bar, I'm so grateful for the resurgence and for James Lindsay and Jake and Mallory picking it back up, which I yeah. think Mallory is. She yeah. Mallory Denver. lived in Denver. Uh, oh really? So she knows cool. all the yeah. Denver comics. That makes and stuff. sense because yeah. I I remember when Sam came to um, Zoo Bar, there I I like they had there was that connection there, but I didn't know where that started. If that was yeah. just from yeah. being in Omaha. I remember when she first moved back here, and I I saw her like a few months ago. She came to Denver. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, like if you're a good comic, people will talk about you. People, mm-hmm. will, yeah. That's great. I feel mm-hmm. like. I feel like that Omaha is is like that. I think there's definitely some people who 
I don't know. Yeah, Omaha is just, yeah. just a lot of drama and the yeah, weather uh, doesn't help. <laughs> you know, everybody's depressed. That, the fa- <laughs> yeah, no, the Facebook yeah. comedy scene just needs to be burned. Yeah. Levetti, how's Bro? Levetti? <laughs> Levetti's my boy. I, I yeah. love Levetti. Yeah. Levetti's cool. Levetti's yeah. cool. Um, he is doing well. I don't think he's currently in any drama at the moment. Okay. So I think okay, he's yeah. okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Good. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Uh, uh, I feel like every I time feel- I see Levetti, it's uh, it's Levetti just being like, "We're good, right?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Yes." <laughs> I think Ethan Ethan had the best line for uh, Levetti. He called him Le Petty Vegas. Yes, yes, he still does. <laughs> Le Petty. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, um, yeah no, he's, he's surviving. Le Petty is reigning strong. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, if you, uh, I know you say you're not done with Denver, but what would the next? New York. S- yeah, straight, yeah. 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 New Catch York up. has a terrible open mic scene, so that's why I don't want to. <laughs> no. I want to build like it's, a it like miserable. a solid hour before. Yeah. Before moving, um, but yeah, definitely, definitely New York. I think mm-hmm. you go to New York to get better. You go to L.A. to get famous. Oh, huh, yeah, that that's, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah I uh, have no desire <laughs> for either. I feel like I feel like a lot of like I mean, as far as from what I've talked with other comics here, it just feels like a lot of people are drawn to Austin. And I, I went to Austin. I, I did a show when I was there. Mm-hmm. I did the East Comedy Club. Nice. Uh, it was it was really cool. It was just I went in the, like in the summer, so it was really fucking hot. I, yeah. I couldn't handle that heat. Um, but yeah, I tried to get on the mothership. I couldn't. I tried. Uh, oh, this is Jeffrey Nelson. Are you familiar with Jeffrey Nelson? I am not familiar. I think I follow him. <laughs> Hello, Jeffrey. What's going on, dude? You know, I'm doing a podcast, at what you're interrupting right now. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, when are you coming back to Denver? Why? <laughs> I'm just asking. What am I supposed to say? I miss you, man. Oh. What, what, am I saying this on the podcast? This yeah. is ridiculous. No, you're not. You're not on a podcast. <laughs> we're, we're, we're cutting this part out. Um, I'll be back Sunday. Can I help you with anything? No, no, no. Do you need help with some jokes? <laughs> later. Okay. <laughs> I will, uh, we'll, we'll talk later. Have fun on the podcast. Hang on, hang on. We were talking about Scarborough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a good painter. Is he? <laughs> sure. Oh, is that what you got to say? What about his comedy? Yeah, he's funny. He's a funny guy. <laughs> just, kind of, just kind of a weasel. You know what I mean? Slime ball. Yeah. Yeah, he's like, I don't know. He's like a, I don't know, a used car salesman, <laughs> salesman with heart, you know, or something like that. He's, he's not even that. Damn, he's fam. He's always unkempt, and he smells like cigarettes. I'll put that on the fucking record. Yep. <laughs> very, very accurate. I hope I hope he sees this. Yeah. No, I'm going to clip it out and send it to him. All right, yeah. all right. <laughs> all right, hey, Jeffrey. Yes. I got to go. Bye. <laughs> that was sorry. A, sorry no, about that. Was, that. that was actually like that was a pretty tame conversation. <laughs> I'd be scared if any of my friends. Call. I don't know what would come out of their mouths. To be honest, <laughs> that was so wholesome. You just said I miss you and yeah, come no, back. no, we're we're very good friends. That's awesome. I think yeah. I follow him on Instagram. I think yeah. I'm familiar with him. Yeah, Jeff um, Jeff Nelson is one of the funniest people that I've known. He's just yeah. genuine funny. He's just seriously like one of the best like. He's going to, something's going to happen to him. It's going to pop off. Something's going to happen. I love that. Yeah. I love people that just have that energy, especially like, uh, I met, um, when I was in Casey, I met Kenny DeForest who he had line, uh, barrel of the bottoms. And it was just like, he was fantastic, but also just one of those comics that like it translates off stage as well. When you're talking to them, just they're hilarious. Yeah. No, I loved, I loved the. Casey comedy scene. I met. Yeah. Uh, I think it was Maddie. Maddie Stancic. Yeah, she she's was a cool. gem. She was. She was I really cool. Um, Brittany. Mm-hmm. Brittany. Uh, yeah, Brittany's great. I met Brittany in Des Moines. Mm-hmm. I did um, Coral show. I don't know if you. Oh, done it. I it never was, met Coral, but I I've heard about her. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think she does. I don't not see her anymore. Yeah, but she ran a show. I forgot the name of it. Was but it, it was Tits Up? Tits Up. Yeah. 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 I was all dressed up for it too. Oh. <laughs> 
um, yeah, and um, there was so many, so many comics, so many very funny comics. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I went. Um, Maddie was on Body Language, which is Britney's show. Yeah, and it's fantastic. Like it was like I, the energy was high the entire time, and I. It ended up being like I almost like a two hour long show, but like no one was tired. Like it's like I feel like you hit a certain point where people are getting tired and they don't. I don't know. The magic is kind of lost. Um, but it was it was a hot show and it was fun. I love that concept too. But yeah, I want to go back. I don't know. Casey's. Uh, I've been visiting there like the last couple. Yeah, months. I've, Just, I've, I've yeah. seen it on your on your stories. Yeah, I'm happy. yeah, a very blurred. Is that is that the next drunk. move? Casey is the next move. Dude, my friends keep teasing me about like you're just gonna end up moving there, but it's like. When I go there, I I always I'm always meeting new people. I feel like you. It's I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like no, I'm I mean, able to I, get up a lot. Yeah, and, I don't. I don't see why not. Uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Spencer. Spencer, Spencer Gordon. Yeah, yeah, he's uh in Lawrence, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty so sure. But Spencer, when he first started, he was 16. Yeah, young, yeah. young boy. He, he was 16 years old, and I remember one of his first jokes. I was like, Oh my god, this guy is fucking hilarious. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was uh, what do you say he's like yeah he's like i i live with my parents just like all the other comics here i still live with my parents <laughs> it was he was just so funny yeah um, he's so sweet yeah so i'm you know he mess he sent me a message that like almost put me to tears Aww. and he's like man i just want to say you know i'm doing my first weekend at this comedy club mm-hmm. and i just want to say thank you and wow. you know you pushed me to be here and everything and i was like yeah, no, that would. That's so sweet. I remember when he, uh, when he got that first weekend at the club hosting. I was like so proud of him. But yeah, no, he's he's very funny. I'm very thankful for all the people that uh, I've been able to meet doing stand up. I will say uh, we do have questions. Okay. Some people we okay. have an Instagram account that some people will submit questions to. We have one loyal. I'm gonna call him a fan. I think he's a fan at this point. His name's James. He sends of, questions of me or like the show. The uh, show. Oh, okay, okay. Bet, yeah, let's let's maybe hear. Maybe you. Maybe you let's as well. Let, yeah. James, what? <laughs> um. So James Dean. Uh. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic porn star. Okay. Anyways, that's the name of a porn star. Okay. I don't know. Sorry. Um. <laughs> James Dean is an actor. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay. there's yeah. a. If you change the spelling, it's also he's a very famous porn star. Oh, okay. Um, Good to know. Yeah. yeah. If you're bored later, look him up. Look him up. Yeah. yeah. No, you'll, he does amazing work. He's <laughs> fantastic. Um, yeah. So James says, what kind of jokes go too far in stand up pranks or whatever? Where do you draw your line in the sand? For me? Yeah. I, I don't think. Well, see, I my comedy is different. I talk about where I'm from and I talk about. Um, I think. Writing a joke. If it's a joke that's going to piss people off. And I think it's uh, <laughs> just just a little photo op. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, James. Uh, that's, uh, that's yeah, that's, yep. <laughs> that's a stupid ass question. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, my gosh. No, I, I think sorry. I think as long as the joke is meant to be funny. Yeah. And you're like not if and if you're actually like hurting somebody then that's a different thing. If you're doing it to be hateful, Mm -hmm. then that's, that's a terrible joke. But if you do a joke that like I, I make bomb jokes, I make nine 11 jokes. Like I've done like, you know, and, and I try to like be, you know, I try to be funny. I don't try to like Mm -hmm. be edgy or like, it's just what I, you know, I'm, my humor is a little bit darker. Yeah. But I also grew up in Iraq. So no no one can fucking tell me about like, you know, Yep. So, yeah. Yeah. I, I see would, that. I would, I, uh, say, I would say, you know, as long as it's not, you're like not targeting anybody, it's mm-hmm. not targeting and it's not like being, yeah, you, you can say anything. I, yeah, I agree. As I think as, that, sorry, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. No, I was just going to say that, like, I saw, um, it was Anthony Jeselnik on the podcast with Theo Vaughn. He was talking about kind of what I feel like the question's asking. And uh, he was quoting uh, Andy Warhol and just saying, like, art is like getting away with it. And I feel like with, uh, I mean, to be topical with Matt Rife's special and everyone being like it was, 
controversial because he was talking about women, domestic violence. Ultimately, do I think the jokes were the worst I've ever heard? No, I just think they were bad. Like, I just don't think that they were well done. I think if they were well done, he could have talked about those subjects and like gotten away with it. So I feel like it's just it's it's if it's bad and it's a hot take, you're going to hear about it. But I feel like if you are, it's done well, it's funny, then uh, I don't know. People aren't as. Yeah, I go to like 20 mics a week. uh, Yeah. You know, so I'm able to like work Mm because, you know, like you can you can tell afterwards. It's like I don't know about most people, but like I sense when I'm. You know, when I'm being like, people are like, what the fuck is he saying? Yeah. You know? But English is my second language, too. So I got to, you know, I got to work on it. Yeah. No, you're killing but, it. But yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, you've been killing it for 55 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one's kind of uh, funny, not along the lines of comedy. Um, well, one, do you have a alarm set on your phone? Four. Like just waking up in the morning? Yes. What's like your default alarm sound? What sound gets you up? Oh, like the. Eh, eh, That's eh, a man's it, because, answer. Because, <laughs> because it reminds me of Fallujah. When we get like, uh, we used to get like incoming. We used to shoot at the, and that sound is like eh, eh, incoming, incoming, incoming. Eh. So when I hear that, I'm like, oh fuck, I need to take Damn. cover. And that's <laughs> so I use my PTSD to to help me get up in the morning. <laughs> I I use trauma in my benefit <laughs> to get you. All right, because yeah, the um, that's really funny because the rest of the question was like, what gets you out of bed, and it's it's your trauma. My trauma, yeah. Wow. All right. Yeah. Um, that's that's perfect. Uh, I think. Any, <laughs> any more questions? Nope, that's <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, James. That's that's the best you got. Um, <laughs> Shut them. Sorry, sorry. I'm so dead. Sorry. No, it's really funny. Um, She's cool. Yeah, yeah, she gets it. Yeah, James is all right. James is fine too. Yeah. Um, we are rounding down to our end of our episode. If you want to plug like your social media. Um, where people can find um, you. Maybe upcoming shows in Denver. This ev- episode will come out next Friday. So Okay. I got like I, I got uh, quite a few shows, but if you follow me on uh, mm-hmm. Instagram is at the Habibi Gang. Um, Habibi Gang means like love gang. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking about changing the name, but I... I think yeah. it's... I it's, like it. It's a brand. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah I'm on Facebook. Ali Kareem. Um mm-hmm. There it is. Yeah. yeah Follow yeah. the social I mean, media and we'll obviously we'll yeah, plug I don't wanna, it in the I don't description. I want to be cocky and like list my shows. <laughs> Ethan very proudly did that. On <laughs> How many shows was it? Two? <laughs> I'm going to be at the, I'm going to be at the backline open mic <laughs> on on Wednesdays. Uh, probably going to bomb. Uh <laughs> uh, going to be I think uh when he was last on he was in the back of a pizza shop. <laughs> in, in Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I have like a, I'm doing a, a gig for um, Colorado Public Radio. Cool. So I'm very excited for that. Yeah. And it's five minutes of clean material. So I'm stressed about that. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's going to air nationally. That's exciting. That's awesome. Yeah. Congrats. So thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm really excited for that. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, you'll figure it out. The clean material, whatever. It'll, it'll be, it'll be perfect. Yeah, I, I usually post my calendar on on Instagram. So yeah, if yeah. people want to find you, yeah. they can check that out. And yeah. yeah, again, we'll link the social media in the description and everything. Um, be sure to follow at Just Justin around Instagram and send us questions. Yeah, James is yeah, James send is us, the the backbone. Like, yeah, send us uh, good questions. <laughs> yeah. Questions that somebody's gonna struggle with. Yeah, hard questions. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's funny. Thank you so much for coming Uh, on. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Appreciate you guys. Thank you, Grace. Bye.